Okay, just making a quick video. All the stuff I'd ordered, I don't know, back in March, some stage, even February now, has finally arrived from the States. We have my Dakota Digital Dash, um, which looks super, super cool. I don't even want to peel that off. Um, but I've kept it in miles per hour and temperature in Fahrenheit. Um, the LCD to screen, from my understanding, can display kilometers per hour at speed. So I just think it's cooler having it in miles per hour. Uh, oil pressure, voltage, and fuel as well, obviously. Uh, what have we got here? Oh yes, my Edelbrock uh, coil covers, or valve body covers, to hide the LS1 coils. I actually thought they were plastic. I didn't realize they were cast aluminum, or aluminum, as we say it over here. Um, so yeah, can't wait to get those on when I pull the engine apart. Um, can't get into there. And we also have my Edelbrock Super Victor intake manifold, um, which is going to look awesome sitting between those on my cylinder heads, which are still coming from TEA. We have also got the Edelbrock fuel rails in there. Um, I was going to go with an Edelbrock throttle body, but they kept on back ordering and back ordering and back ordering it, so I ended up just getting a Holly one instead. Uh, what do we got here? Trick flow. So that's got to be the steam kit. Yep. Because it's not the camshaft. That's my camshaft. My stage three trick flow camshaft. New timing chain. And that must be the trunnion kit. So I've got a trunnion kit in there as well to upgrade the springs. What do we got here? Oh, that's the water pump and outlet. Gasket, so I've got a complete AC Delco or GM style gasket kit. And new dipstick tube because the LS is in the wrong place for my stuff. Uh, I think I covered that off in another video. Basically the new F-body sump doesn't have the hole in the side of it like the Commodore one did. So I need to go down through the block. And we have an electric wiper set up and electric windows under there. Front gaskets, uh, what are those? Park lenses. Rear gaskets, I've already got the LED tail lights, and those are just the screws for the gaskets and a couple of bodies. Um, so, yeah, other than buying some. Oh, oh shit, just about forgot the biggest box. Vintage air. My aircon. Um, so I can't wait to start looking into that, probably tomorrow, it's getting late in the afternoon now. Oh, and there's some QA1 shocks over there as well, which is from my brother-in-law. Uh, quick update in here. ECU's gone. Decided not going in there. Um, it's going to take up too much space once I put the aircon and wipers and god knows whatever else under there. So as you can see, I've tidied a lot of this up. 90% of the wiring's all actually running out through a bung. Now, um, brackets for my aircon are done. I think I covered that off in the last video. Brackets for the radiator are still coming. And at the moment, yeah, ECU is just sitting on the dash, uh, on the bonnet hinge. So, yeah, the wiring comes out from behind the engine. It's going to run along uh, above the brake pedal, above the steering column, just along into the inner panel, I covered that off in the last video, and this is now going to mount on the inner panel and have a cover over it to hide that and the water bottle which will sit up here. Uh, the battery box will be on the other side over there with the master fuse relays and circuit breakers uh, for the fans and stuff like that. So that's all we've got, just wanted to show you I've got all my new bits. So I can actually sit down now and start installing the vintage air kit. Ooh, oh, that one there. Ooh, and the Dakota Digital. Ooh, birdies. Um, by that stage, hopefully, my brackets for the radiator will be done. And then I'll be able to start the engine up, let it get up to temperature, make sure that all my gauges and stuff are working. Then the certifier will hopefully be here and I've hopefully can pull the engine trans and that out before he comes and start working on the engine. The cylinder head should be here mid-May along with the headers 
and some of the heads headers, oh, and throttle body. So yeah, in the next two months, we should have a lot more going on in here. So fingers crossed.